uh, I'd like to start off with this so that way we can actually um, uh, see what the actual lighting's doing. So we can actually pump this up a bit. Excellent. And now let's actually create a new capsule, actually a cylinder, and let's rotate it. And so that make that 90. Wonderful. Now let's scale it down. I might straighten it up a bit. And let's move it over here. And let's parent this under the player. Excellent. All right, so it's actually super dark. <laughs> Um, let's come up to the lighting. Let me just pick a different one. If we say none, that might be a bit better. We need to actually see what's happening. Okay, so that way, so we can actually see that um, we're looking around, but the character is not following um, where we're looking. So there's a simple solution to that. Um, let's create a new empty object under the main camera, and along this blue line, we want to pull it to, um, to the front. And we actually want to spin, spin this uh, forward. So let's make that minus 90. Um, so that way you can see when we press start, uh, we start looking forward. Um, excellent. So now that we've got this here, let's make a new thing for our player. Let's create this. And we're going to create a look at. Uh, look at, let's make it a smooth look at, smooth, we're going to make the player, smooth look at this game object, we're going to probably call this uh, front, uh, front camera, excellent, let's make, let's try the speed of 5 and make this finish tolerance 0, let's press play, alright so you can see that he's actually turning, so what we want to do now is let's actually just um, we have to flip the camera back to zero camera base let's make that minus 90 I think the cam follow is facing that way let's have a look actually maybe I didn't put the um yeah, no, I didn't put the the cylinder facing the right way, so I've just been flipping everything. <laughs> let's make this zero, um, and then let's. Where's that cylinder here? We want to make it. We want to make the cylinder ninety, and here. Let's put it there. Let's see what happens. All right, so now you can see we actually look around depending on um, where where we're at. Uh, we might want to bring this up a bit higher. Okay, so this is going to be like our our flashlight. So it should be good, and we can actually create an independent um, uh, look at for our cylinder. Uh, we can actually. Let's come and grab this FSM. Or we actually let's call this a look at. Let's copy this guy and put this under the cylinder. You can right mouse click there and paste as new. And let's turn off keep vertical. Alright, so you can see that it's it's actually turning um, upwards. So what we will need to do first is let's um, create an empty object. Um, let's get that cylinder location. Uh, copy and paste. Let's make the scale 1111 so it doesn't affect our cylinder. And if we turn it, uh, I think if we turn the, let's make the, let's make the cylinder object of that. Let's press play. Okay, so we can see that's facing upwards. So what we need to do is then turn uh, this down. Excellent. We might actually have to apply the um, the look at to the game object rather than the cylinder. Uh, so let's well let's just try it on the game object first. Let's paste that. 
yeah, so it's, it's still spinning. So what we can do is we can actually change the look at. Let's create this, put that there. All right, so that's flipping upwards. So now we can actually bring this down. And let's copy that and try this out. All right, so it's still facing upwards. Right, let's control P it. Oh, we never actually got rid of we never got rid of the the look at on the cylinder, so that, that might play a part in that. All right, so now you can see if we if we look up and down, what we want to probably bring up the the cylinder a little bit more and. Uh, let me uh, game object. Let's bring it forward and up a little bit more. So it might be a bit bit drastic. Okay, let, let me bring it back in. All right, and then the reason why it's kind of lagging behind is because of the um, the smooth uh, rotate which is uh, in this look at, I think. Yep, so let's maybe speed this up 20. Let's see if that helps. All right, so now it feels like we have a really nice uh, rigid um, thing going on. And now let's um, create a um, like a flashlight coming out of it. So in our front area, uh, let's just double check which way uh, this is going to be facing. Uh, let's just create a light, a spotlight, and let's try this this way first. All right, so you can see that that's working. I actually just want to maybe scale uh, the actual player. Where's the player? Yeah, this one. Uh, or what we can actually do, let's just turn off the mesh renderer for that player. Excellent. All right, so you can see that we've got the the flashlight now, and actually might be a little bit high. So again, we can tweak that. Let's bring this down. Let's just re-enable this this player just so we can actually see what's happening. And. We can probably scale it down, it should be fine. Alright, and I think the player, the, the camera, uh, let's just speed it up a little bit more. Let's make that like 200. Excellent. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Uh, now for the spotlight, let's uh, pump the spot angle up and the intensity and maybe the range. Awesome, and now we can actually, we can adjust, um, let's adjust the turning speed of our spotlight. Okay, so let's go into the game object. Let's make maybe make, let's try ten. Okay, that feels nice. Um, I actually want to bring the camera forward a little bit more. Uh, let's maybe even a little bit more. this way. Let's try that. Okay, that's, that's much better so you don't see as much of the, the capsule going on. Excellent, and now let's bring uh, the spotlight forward. Alright, so that's looking really nice. Okay. Uh, let me just bring it forward a little bit more. Excellent. Now, of course, with the, the capsule, you can follow 